What is up, beautiful people? It's me, Kyra J, back again with another one. Today, I'm giving you some affirmations to tell yourself. Well, positive affirmations to tell yourself every day in 2021. I'm so ready for the next year. I'm just, ah, uh, I cannot. I'm just telling myself I'm manifesting an amazing year, okay? So this is what I'm going, this is what I'm going to tell myself every single day. So I figure out why not share them with you. But before we get into that, I do want to make sure you guys are subscribed to my channel. So go ahead right now, subscribe to my channel. Don't wait. And hit the bell right next to the subscribe button so you know every time I post a video, okay? <laughs> and while you're there, you know, you know, just give this video a big thumbs up because why not? And if you are new to my channel and this is the first time clicking my video, thank you so much for clicking my video. Be sure to subscribe. Enjoy the TJ fam because we are the shit. And if you are one of my loyal subscribers and one of my loyal viewers, thank you so much for watching yet another video. I truly appreciate you. <laughs> now let's get into it, okay? <clears throat> All right, beautiful people. Again, this is 12 affirmations to tell yourself every day or 12 reminders Whatever the case may be, you can write them on sticky notes, write them wherever you like, or just remember them, journal them, whatever, whichever, okay? <coughs> 12 affirmations to tell yourself daily that it gets you through 2021 the best way possible. Unless you get COVID, but <laughs> God bless you. I hope you don't. But yeah, guys, let's get to it. Of course, I have my handy dandy laptop because I'm always writing things down and I figure why not write something down like this? 12 reminders or affirmations to tell yourself daily. Let's start. Number one, the past cannot be changed. Imagine telling yourself that once a day, the past cannot be changed. The past cannot be changed. If you would have told yourself that in 2020, imagine how much further you'll be not not living in the past and realizing that yesterday was yesterday and you cannot do nothing about it. Just like 2020. Next year, you're going to be looking at 2020 like, what the F? But it's already the past. It already happened, so you can't take it back or you can't relive it either. You just can continue on and keep moving the best way possible. That's number one, guys. The past cannot be changed. I cannot stress that enough. Number two. Opinions do not define your reality. Again, opinions does not define your reality. Okay, so stop giving a fuck what other people think because who are they to tell you what to do with your life and how to live your life? Are they perfect? No, because nobody's perfect, okay? So opinions does not define your reality. That is number two. Number three. Everyone's journey is different. So that basically says, don't judge a book by its cover. Your path is your path. My path is my path. Shanene path is Shanene path. And Jante path is his his path, okay? So everybody's path is different. The journey is different. We all put, put on this earth for a different thing. So live your life to the fullest because everybody's journey is different, okay? Number four. Things will always get better with time. <clears throat> it's this one um, song from the internet. We'll see it. Um, I think it's called like Get Better. I love, love, love that song. Like that's one of the songs that I love listening to when I'm kind of down. And I need to get some like tears out. I love the song. I'll uh, put it right here at the top just so you guys can know what I'm talking about. This, this is the definition of this. Number four, things will get better with time. <clears throat> I actually think that that's the lyrics, honestly. But yeah, that's a perfect affirmation to tell yourself daily. If you're having a hard time, things get will get better with time. The only thing that stays the same, that's time is the only thing that changes. Nothing else. Or is that the other way around? Everything changes except time. Times. <laughs> Y'all know what I mean. <laughs> Whatever. Number five. Judgments. Are confessions of character. 
Judgments are confessions of character. Whose character? Not your character, honey, but the person that's judging you. That is confessions of their character telling you how they are and who they are. Remember, when people show you who they are, believe them. That's another goal. I'm just saying all of my goals today. That's another goal for myself in 2021. When people show me who they are, I'm not going to not believe them. I'm going to believe them the first instance I'm seeing some brand new actions because that means your actions two weeks ago was some bull. Okay. <laughs> That is number five. Judgments are confessions of character. Again, not your character, but their character, okay? Number six, overthinking will lead you to sadness. That's something that I'm still struggling with and I've struggled with my whole entire life that I just overthink. I'm just a crazy overthinker. I think 10 billion things at once. Then I think of 10 billion scenarios for those 10 billion things. And I think of what could possibly happen if that don't happen. So that's like three billion, 30 billion things all at once. Yeah, I'm crazy. I'm crazy. <laughs> but, and it happens. And it, sometimes after thinking so much, I do get sad because I cannot figure out what's going to happen next. And I'm one of those people that have to, I don't have to be in control of the situation, but I don't like being confused, if that makes sense. So overthinking can lead to sadness. So let's make that your goal too. Don't overthink because overthinking can kill you. <clears throat> I gotta make sure I say this clearly so you guys can hear me. Happiness is found within. I actually got this tatted on me. I got this tatted on me the moment when I found felt absolutely nothing. I had no happiness inside of me and I decided maybe that's something I needed to stick with me forever. And I have it tatted on me actually. As we speak, I got it when I was about maybe 17, 18, I'm not sure, but it says happiness comes from within. And ever since then, I've been understanding the difference between being happy, <clears throat> just being happy for the day and being happy just in general with life or with yourself. So that's what I tell people all the time that happiness comes from within because if I can't, if I, I know that if I'm not, <clears throat> why is my voice cracking like this? I don't know why it's doing that, but I always tell people that happiness comes from within and I understand that if I'm not happy with nothing else in life or how my life is going, I'm happy with me because I know that I'm a good person and I'm living life in my positive energy, you know? So, can nobody tell me nothing? Happiness comes from within. If you see my lip, guys, I'm sorry. I tend to um, bite my lip when I'm nervous or anxiety or something like that. It's like a a trigger that I have that I cannot stop doing. I hate it because it always makes my lip look like this, but whatever. <clears throat> Number eight, positive thoughts create positive things. And I was just saying that you got to live in your positive energy, live in your positive positivity because you would develop and you put so much positive positivity in the world, in the world, the universe will give you positive, th positive things back. So again, number eight is positive th thoughts create positive things. Number nine, smiles are contagious. I truly, truly believe this because I smile a lot. Like people don't even understand why I be smiling half the time. I just smile because I want to. Smiling really is contagious. And if you're smiling at someone, I guarantee they smile back at you. They may think you're flirting with them, but you know the truth. And sometimes you might be, I don't know. But <laughs> any other way, smiling is contagious. And I guarantee if you smile, make sure you... If you don't smile at nobody else, make sure you look in the mirror and you smile at yourself. I guarantee if you smile 10 times a day, your whole entire day will feel much better than it did 10 days ago. I dare you to try it. For 10 days straight, imagine smiling 10 times. Number 10, kindness is free. That's how you know that you are living in your truth. You're living to the fullest because you're happy for no reason and you're being nice because you want to. Like, some people just don't understand. Like, I am a strong believer of treat people how you want to be treated. Like, that's something that I personally was raised on, treat people how you want to be treated. But people tend to get that confused a little bit, talking about you care too much, you love me too much, you're in love with me, you're crazy. And it's like do relax like it don't even be that it just be like i'm a i'm just generally a nice person and how i'm treating you i'm giving you the love that i want back from people 
and I'm giving you the kindness that I want back from people. I'm just, I'm just generally a nice person and with a huge, huge heart and a little bitty body. So like some people just don't understand kindness or never felt that amount of kindness. And it's like, kindness is really free and it takes literally nothing to be kind. It takes literally nothing to be nice to someone. But people nowadays, in this day and age, people are just mean for no reason, just naturally bullies. And it's because of social media. Social media lets people be finger gangsters, Twitter gangsters, IG gangsters, and they can create so many different kind of accounts and just be bullies for no reason. And they like <laughs> nerds. It be, it be crazy, it be crazy, but that's a whole topic for a whole nother day. Again, kindness is completely free. That is number 10, 11. You you only fail if you quit. So basically, never quit. That's self-explanatory. Don't stop until you get it. You can take as many L's as you want, but understand that you're going to eventually get the W. So don't ever quit. Don't stop. The only time you will fail is if you stop. So don't stop. Don't quit. You only fail when you quit. And the last but not least, everything comes full circle meaning what goes around comes around so if you're being nice nice is going to come to you if you're thinking positive thoughts positivity is going to come to you if you're happy you're gonna see happiness around you it's just energy all of this is about energy and again i cannot stress that enough that energy is transferable the air energy the universe's energy your energy the people around you's energy everything goes around comes around so if somebody's a dick ass head to you Imagine that they don't get it tenfold because karma is a bitch. But don't get me wrong, it's good karma out there too. But everything goes around, comes around. Just like everything that's in the dark comes to light. We know, we know. So don't ever get it fucked up. Continue to be a nice person and nice is going to come to you. And whoever's being me and being just the ugliest person that they can possibly be, don't worry about it. Say it's all good. Brush it off your shoulders and understand that karma going to hit them real hard okay <laughs> all right guys as you know it i'm tired jack and that was 12 daily reminders and daily affirmations to tell yourself to get through 2020 20 to the best of your ability okay and as you know it i'm tired jack and i'm out peace